podcast dedicated to prep sports in the USA Today Network, Wisconsin area, and beyond. Featuring Ricardo Arguello. Every time I come in the kitchen, you in the kitchen, eating up all the food. And Brett Christofferson. This guy threw at his own kid in a father's son game. Produced by Jim Rosendick. The once great chef, now a study in mumpishness. And now, the best dang prep sports duo in Wisconsin, here's Ricardo and Brett. <coughs> I had a cough right away there. See that? But welcome to the R&B Show, episode number 30 of our second season. Uh, I'm trying to get this cough squared away that just came out of nowhere, but it's the only podcast dedicated to high school sports in the Fox Valley. I'm your co-host, Ricardo Arguello. Alongside with me, as always, is Brett Christofferson. We're both of USA Today Network, Wisconsin. And Jim Rosendick handling all the production end of it behind the live stream machine, also part of USA Today Network, Wisconsin. That is your three amigos. Uh, a couple topics coming up today. Uh, because, Brett, how many days officially is it? Uh, two weeks. Two weeks from today. Two weeks from today is a high school sports awards show. Mm, a lot of work. A lot of work. And Brett, Brett is, Brett is uh, he's running around like with, with, with his head cut off here like a chicken. Because he's, uh, what, how much, how much work do you put in? In these weeks leading up, well, you're at it, meetings, you're at all this stuff, you're, you're looking over the script, you're doing all this kind of crazy it's stuff. It's near a full-time job at this point just because of just all the, the, there's one piece after another, after another, after another. And, you know, we just announced our uh, spring nominees and our premier award nominees. And um, now on top of uh, getting a script ready and, and, and tweaking all that stuff, um, we got to chase the RSVPs on, on those yeah. folks and get them in because it's a really quick turnaround and, there's photos to chase, and it's a big deal. And, uh, of course, uh, there are other things that have uh, popped up uh, unrelated to the sports award show that um, yes. have, have been a little tricky as well. Right, exactly. So, so you're a busy man. Let's just, let's just well, call it what it is. We're, we're, all, we're, we're busy. all busy, but Brett, <clears throat> we're all Brett busy. especially uh, with, with, with things that are on his plate. Uh, so, but, but don't worry about it. That award show is coming up again Wednesday, May 8th. Two weeks from today. Two weeks from today. And... Uh, you know, in honor of that, I, want, I guess what we're going to do is uh, we're going to look at the fall and winter nominees to let people know. Uh, next week, we're going to finish up with the Premier Awards as well as the spring okay. nominees. So we'll kind of have back-to-back shows just dedicated or at least touching on the High School Sports Award show because that's the biggest thing going on in our area uh, in the spring, in my opinion. Um, a, lot of, a lot of area athlete between the, out of the G10, which is, of course, the Gannett 10 newspapers that are in you know, this uh, area. So uh, it's, it's very important, and there's going to be a lot of people there, a lot of dressed-up people over there at the uh, High School Sports Award show, Brett. So we got to make sure we uh, make sure people are informed of what's going down. Yeah, and you think we are recognizing athletes in 23 sports? Okay, uh, yeah. That's a lot that uh, is. when you factor in all 10 of our USA Today Network Wisconsin markets, and then there are premier awards, uh, like what, uh, Boys Athlete of the Year, Girls Athlete of the Year, Coach of the Year, Team of the Year. There's the Courage Award, which we have a really powerful – Yes. Um, moment there coming up. Uh, we've got um, uh, I Am Sport Award, which is a great program that we've uh, done now for a few years. The Top Team Fan Vote Award. I think we had 30 teams that were nominated. Mm -hmm. I think that led the company. 24 I Am Sport Award nominees for individual athletes led the company. So it just goes to show you that the I <coughs> excuse me, I think I got your cough. Yeah. The um, show is always, I think, fantastic. And it's, it's great to work with the corporate events team and um, it just because it goes to show you again just uh, the passion people have for local high school sports in our in our ten markets or some of the, some of the t state's top athletes, coaches, and teams in those markets and our uh, RSVP in attendance right now is darn near one hundred percent. So that's pretty good for a middle of the week show. Absolutely. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run down um, the fall and winter nominees just so people know or aware of those that are nominated. The eight nominees uh, now during the show. There'll be some finalists and then a winner selected. So, but what we're going to do is announce the nominees from each sports. There's eight in each of the sports. Yes, and don't announce anything beyond the. Yes, eight. I know. That's why I said I was not going to do the finalists or a winner. Uh, though I, we're, we're all we all know who they will be. Ha ha ha! So we have that knowledge. Well, we're starting to get things tabulated a little. Yes. Bit, so, so the nominees. Here we go. We're going to do we'll start with the fall season. The nominees for football. And all this is out there, by the way. You can find this uh, on any of the 10 sites, right, Brad? Yeah, uh, just, just Google Wisconsin High School Sports Awards and links will come up. Yes, and, and you'll be able to see all the nominees uh, for all the sports throughout the three, uh, the three seasons. So we'll start with football. Uh, the eight nominees are Tristan Argel of Kimberly, 
Ben Barton of Stratford, Dylan Hendricks of Pulaski, Bryce Hittner of Iola, Scandinavia, Jake Karchinski, West of Pier, our guy, one of, one front of the show, uh, Derek LeCampton, Southern Door, Cody Starkle of Kimberly, and Andrew Stone of Fond du Lac. Those are your eight nominees for football. Great, great crop of guys there, Brett, and a lot of uh, talent there, especially I'm looking at Andrew Stone and, and obviously the Kimberly guys with the success they've had. And don't forget about LeCampton as well. I mean, he, he was a big rugby guy. Rugby he's, guy playing uh, football. <clears throat> heck of an athlete up there in uh, Southern Door. I remember seeing him as a young man because he's the same age yes. as my youngest in yes. Southern Door, and my son's team would play quite a bit. And you uh, were impressed? Oh, yeah. They were, always, they, were always, okay. they were always tough. He was really, really good. So uh, uh, big kid, big, strong kid. Yeah, so those are your eight nominees for football. Now, we do have cross country uh, coming up, so uh, let's check those out for boys cross country. Trenton Bauer of Nina, Griffin Congdon of Nina, Rowan Ellenberg of Kimberly, Chad Franz of Stevens Point, Ryan Hartman of Wausau East, Matt Meinke of Nina, Adam Rezenkowski, I don't know if I said that right, Brett, of Rosholt, and Jack Shearer of Oshkosh North. We always got to get those names correct. Ryan Hartman or, uh, of Wausau West, by the way. Oh, yes, uh, Ryan Hartman of Wausau West. Uh, thank you for that correction. Those are your boys' nominees for cross, cross country. Girls' cross country, Riley Collette of Fond du Lac, Brooke Edwardson of Kimberly, Marissa Ellen Becker of Edgar, Anna Gallagher of Two Rivers, Annie Higgins of Xavier, Brooke Jaworski of Wausau West, very familiar name, uh, Leah Kralovitz of Denmark, and Roizen Willis. I wonder if I said that right. Roizen Willis. Is that a Roy... Rosine, I have to check. The yeah, the check spelling that. there. Stevens Point, she is from. So uh, those are your girls cross country nominees. Now, now boys volleyball is always kind of funny, Brett, because really our area is the, the Fox Valley is the only place that has uh, boys volleyball. So a lot of these, all these players are from, <coughs> excuse me, the area. So the eight nominees are Dominic Bentley of Kakana, uh, Tommy Klaus of Kimberly, and I'm looking at who is this? Brandon or Landon Kraus of Kimberly. And then, uh, hold on, Avery, Avery Pullman, Pullman of Appleton North, Chase Robinson of Kimberly, Rice Schreiner of Kakana, Ryan Tilkins of Kakana, and then Luke Van Handel, Appleton North. That's your boys' volleyball nominees. And then uh, girls' swimming, Claire Eisel of Nina, Kennedy Gilbertson of Stevens Point, Emma Lasecki of Bayport, Brig Brigetta Neverman of Green Bay United, uh, Avacero of Nina, Aaron Chu of Seymour, Kylie Thyler of Tomahawk, and Bree Zablocki of De Pere slash West De Pere. Combined team there, I'm assuming they're BC. Mm -hmm. Girls tennis, we only have two more. Uh, we have only have a couple more sports here in the fall. Anna Beyer of Nina, Kelly Heil of Fond du Lac, Mia Lorraine of Newman Catholic, Sabrina Tang of Stevens Point, Summer Schonenberger, that might be the longest name uh, that we have nominated here, and Ash Weenie Murthy yep. of Sheboygan <clears throat> North Bunch doubles of team. Teams yeah. Coming up here. Boy, think about having to type those names in all the time. Yikes. Uh, Ellie Udovic and Ava Hoffman of Kohler. Allison Verbawade and Kendra Peterson of Manitowoc Lincoln. Elizabeth Wenzel and Megan DeBot of Stevens Point. By the way, Manitowoc, you know, we call it Manitowoc High School. Or My girlfriend's from Manitowoc. It's, it's Lincoln. Yeah. You know, they call it Lincoln. They say so, Lincoln. Kind yeah. of Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln for Rosie there. Yeah. Do you call it Lincoln up there, uh, Rosie? You do? Okay, interesting. I would, he's busy adjusting she, cameras. She, co not. she immediately corrected me when I would call it Manitowoc. She's like, no, it's it's Lincoln. I'm okay. like, oh, okay, all right, take it easy. It's kind of like I like to say it's Stevens Point yes. Area Senior High. And I like to just say senior, senior Stevens Point High School. No, that doesn't exist. <laughs> okay. There's no such <laughs> thing. It, it's always Lincoln. It's always been okay. Lincoln. Okay. So. All right, so girls volleyball. Oh, great players in this batch here. Rachel uh, Asby of Lords Academy. Eddie Barnes of Nina, Kelsey Belfiore of Merrill, Maddie Cook of Ashwabadon, Kayla Kraus of Nina, Drew Cook of Sheboygan North, Maisie, Mazzie Nagel of Stratford, and Hannah Vandenberg of Little Shoot. Those are your eight nominees uh, for girls volleyball. And girls golf, which I believe is the last fall sport, I want to say. Have you hit boys soccer yet? Oh, no. You're right. Two more. So Emily Anderson of Kakana. Uh, we're, again, we're back on girls golf here. And if I could take this off. Okay, uh, Joe Baranchik of Bayport, Lauren Hain of Xavier, Abby Nichol of Stevens Point, Claire Fakamad of Xavier, Elizabeth Santos, FBL, or Fox Valley Lutheran, I'm sorry, Riley Severson of Ashwabanon, and Lily Shepard of Kakana. That's your girls' golfers. And last sport, but not least, of course, in the fall, boys soccer, Dylan Blum of Fox Valley Lutheran, Chris Carrion of Kimberly, Edgar Heredia of Oshkosh West, Nick Hummel of Green Bay Preble, Ricky Perez of Stevens Point, Thomas Priest of Nina, Will Routman of Howard's Grove and Nadim Torby of Columbus Catholic. I want to say Heredia won it last year. 
Yes, he did. I believe Heredia, yeah. It was a big Oshkosh show last yeah, year. It was, so, it yeah, was. it was. Oshkosh dominated yeah. last year, Brett. You are absolutely right on yes. that uh, aspect. Incredible uh, how much success they had last year in all the sports. So those are your fall nominees. Nine uh, sports. Nine sports. Now I'm going to run through the winner ones. And, uh, again, eight nominees for each sport. We can't announce the finalists or the winner. You've got to go to the show for that, Brett, and you'll give us uh, where they can go for tickets. Sportsawards.wisconsinmedia.com. I love that you're ready with that, my friend. Here go girls basketball. There's some great names here as well. Shea Deckant of Kimberly, Leah Ernst of Stevens Point, Emma Nagel of Bayport, Kiera Otto of Laconia, Cassie Schiltz of Luxembourg Casco, Maddie Shires of Wausau West, Jaden Simmons of Green Bay Southwest, Macy McGlone of Hortondale. Now that's a heck of a team, Brett. Picture those five uh, five starters think, out of there and a pretty good can, bench. You can win some games. Yeah. Right? Uh, and, boy, we had another one for boys basketball as well. Marcus Domask of Waupon, Mason Hazert of Wrightstown, as I flip my page here, Donovan Ivory of Kakana, Max Klesbit of Nina, Chambi Lambert of Roncalli, Levi Ninehouse Borchard of Kimberly, Jacob Ognasevic, did I say that right? Ognasevic. Ognasevic of Sheboygan Lutheran and Sam Mirsten. Mirstein of Green Bay, New Lutheran. Those are your boys basketball That's a players. Good team too. That they is a great team. Games with those guys. Now again, gymnastics is is another kind of similar to boys volleyball. Not every uh, program has, not every school has the gymnastics program, but we did our best with coming up with eight nominees: Brooklyn uh, Bills of Medford, Isabella Dogie of Wapan, Emma Haugen of Marshfield, Gracie Holland of Marshfield, Jamie. Jerkowick of Valders Roncalli, Brianna Reinhardt of Lincoln, Manitowoc Lincoln. Yes, sir. Bryn Tackett of Manitowoc Lincoln, and Caitlin Trowbridge of Stevens Point. I call it Stevens Point High School, but apparently it's Stevens Point Area Senior High. That's because it's called SPAC. Okay, all right. All right. Boys Swimming, Charlie Ashenbach of Plymouth, Brock Own. Did I say that right, Brett? Did that, you remember how? You know, as you're saying these, I'm, I'm kind of chuckling to myself because you and I will both be uh, making phone calls probably yes, in a couple you're right. of weeks, getting uh, uh, yes. name pronunciations. In you're order. absolutely right. So yeah, whenever you give me my list of who I need to call, I will yes. do that. Brock, I'll say it, Brock Owen of uh, Sturgeon Bay Co-op, Drew Harris of Stevens Point. That's an easy one. William Halen, Hayon of Sheboygan North, Ozan Kalafat of Bayport. You want to do boys swimming this time, Brett? Casey Neverman, Kaiser Neverman, Kaiser Neverman of Green Bay Southwest. Sam Riff of Berlin Green Lake and Parker Sonabend of Chilton Co-op. Go. Not too bad. All right. Uh, what do we got next? Girls hockey. Girls hockey. Girls hockey. Great year for girls hockey. A couple champions. I would say well, one champion anyway. And Here, here's a name well for you. Well represented on the list. Yes, too. Pistol Cowden yes. of Stevens Point Co-op. Man, that's awesome. She's from Marshfield actually. Drew Dianovich of Beaver Dam Co-op. Uh, she's from Wapan. Alyssa Heim of Beaver Dam Co-op. A lot of co-ops, Brett. Yep. She's that's from hockey. Beaver Dam. Annika Horman of Fox City Stars. Uh, she's from Appleton North. Lauren Hall of Fox City Stars. She's from Kimberly. Maddie Jablonski of Fox City Stars. She's from Hortonville. Had the game-winning goal mm-hmm. in overtime to get the F- F- Fox City Stars that title. Tori Nelson of Fox City Stars of Kimberly. Or she's from Kimberly. And Abby Oaken of Beaver Dam. She's from Wapon. That's your girls' hockey nominees. Boys' hockey. Um, we have eight nominees here as well. Barrett Brooks of Stevens Point. Jacob Sabula of Wausau West. Owen Engel of Nina Hortonville Menasha. Dylan Fox of Nina Hortonville Menasha, Max Guchar of Fox City Stars, Cade Lemmer of Wausau West, Sam Teckel of Wausau West, and Sam Welsh of St. Mary's Springs. St. Mary's Springs, we just call them, they're out there on the ledge, Brett. The ledgers. We got the wrestling. Wrestling. The last uh, summer, or I'm sorry, summer. I have summer on my mind. Last winter uh, sports uh, for the eight nominees are from wrestling. And check out, we got incredible wrestlers. This was, I would say, Brett, one. Well, I know that me and Mike actually were kind of deciding on some who, who might be the finalists on that kind of stuff. So we're just putting together the eight nominees. The most difficult, not even close. No other sport came as close to it being as difficult as it was to call eight nominees from our list of great wrestlers in the area. Uh, so here we go. Eric Barnett of Hortonville. Uh, Matt Bianchi of Two Rivers. Stephen Buchanan of, Ni- of Ni- Nilesville. Of Nilesville Greenwood Loyal. Uh, Sean Fisher of Wyweega Fremont. Max Mewson of Bayport. Sam Mitchell of Marshfield. Dylan Schoenherr of Stratford and Logan, oh boy, Logan Jernowitz. Did I say that right, you know? Spencer Columbus Jernitz. Catholic. Jernitz, yeah. Jernitz, yeah. He's a big kid. He's yeah, a heavyweight. He good good guy. Uh, so, yeah, those are your eight nominees for wrestling, Brett. That's a lot of players. That's a lot of families are going to be at the show because you said that all the fall and winter were pretty much coming, right? All the nominees? Yeah, all but uh, two right oh, now. Oh, really? Okay, all right. Well, that's so pretty good. My, and, and that my big concern, though, right now is 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 – spring and uh getting although there is some overlap because there are a number of spring athletes that are nominated okay from other sports okay well that's good to hear well those are your al van handel 
Remember Al, oh, sure. uh, a friend of ours uh, from our Clubhouse Live days? He checks in, says, hi, you two. Luke Van Handel might be a relation to me, question mark. Oh, well, is he or is he not? Congrats to all nominees. And then he would like to nominate himself for the sport of bowling. Okay. He league bowled his first ever 300 game last December at Super Bowl. Started the season with a 182 average. Ended up with a 209 average. Well, that's great, Al. Great, but here's the thing. Bowler. you got to be a high school senior or below. And I think that passed you by many, many rainy seasons ago, my friend. He also wants to know who we think the Packers will pick tomorrow night. Doesn't matter. Gonna, whoever they pick is going to be a bust. <clears throat> Jason Fredrickson says the Bears still suck. Yeah, whatever. There you go. That's nice. Stay classy. We'll stick with the uh, local sports. Oh, the Packer for, uh, meatball fans. Anyway, uh, yeah. So that's those are award shows. Part one. Now we're going to have the second part of the award show preview next week. Again, and then Brett's hopefully not going to be too frazzled because, boy, that's coming up uh, – then from that point, it's going to be a week away for the big show. We got to go get our tuxes. Well, I got yeah. Well, I got to thank Mike Sherry too for you oh, Mike Sherry's been for, great for doing all the bios and uh, went, couldn't do it without him. Uh, that, that that's a lot of work. Luckily, not as many bios had to be written this year because yes. the program set up differently. But man, um, that's just I don't know from a time standpoint how one person could could do it by himself. He's the man. So uh, it, he's he's a huge help. Also. We'd be remiss if we didn't mention that Michael Phelps will be our special guest. Oh, sure. That's right. Olympic champion. Some, some guy who won who's swimmer or something. So I'm putting together some, uh, some, some Q&A stuff for uh, Michael Phelps. And uh, I know, the as I said in our call this morning, the direction I kind of want to move uh, that conversation in because I think it's going to be very pertinent to the young uh, folks in the audience. Oh, good stuff. Yeah. A couple of things coming up here. I just want to give you guys a heads up what, what I got coming down the docket here. Thanks. I think I've been able to get a hold of Andrew Stone because I want to do a feature on He's him. Hard to get a hold he of. is hard to get a hold of, actually, Brett. Uh, actually, he promised me he'll talk to me tonight, so I actually was able to get a hold of him. So hopefully that'll happen. And then I have a feature story on him coming up. The great Fond du Lac thrower uh, set the, the indoor record in shot, and he's also a very good discus thrower. I took took second last year in, in discus, was the state champion in shot put. So going to talk to him at length tonight. Uh, get his thoughts on uh, how he's doing all that kind of stuff. So that's a feature that's coming up uh, hopefully within the end of the week, maybe by Friday, but, but by for sure for the weekend for the Fond du Lac area. Actually, I might put it up for the whole uh, Fox Valley because I'm sure folks in Kimberly want to know sure. who their guys are going up against, yes. their throwers and things like that. Uh, also, now we are going to have Oshkosh North Sid Suple and Libby uh, Nevue on the show tonight from Oshkosh North Softball. That'll be fun. They're very excited to be on the show. I'm actually going to do a story on them as well, so I'm going to talk to them at length. So that's also going to be coming, I'm going to say, over the weekend as well. So be on the lookout for those two feature stories coming up. And hopefully you guys read my Hauser stuff uh, yes, from last week. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, on, on Sam and Joey. And hopefully I'll, they'll, they'll give me a tip off on, uh, on, on who they select. But that's, oh, yeah. they're, going to, they're going all over the place, though, aren't they? They're going, what, to Michigan State to visit? And uh, w- there was did, another team. Did I see Iowa? Or I, I think it was Iowa, yeah. Wisconsin and Virginia. Yeah, those we kind of figured. No, I, I heard, you know, who knows, what, 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 but it was a, a, a local sports radio uh, talk show where uh, the guest was suggesting that maybe Virginia wasn't as hot ah. on the Housers as maybe they would be to Virginia. Now, who knows if that's true or not, but that was what he was speculating. He thought it was, it was pretty good that maybe they end up in, in Madison. But uh-huh. we'll see, you never know what's going on right uh-huh. now. Uh-huh. I'd like to see him go to Virginia, Rosie. No, not me. You would, yeah. They, that's where I thought they were going They've go. got scholarship space available now. Oh, uh-huh. well, they do. Okay. Well, yep. Did everybody who was supposed to? Jerome's gone. Kyle Guy now is a, sounds like officially gone. Uh, DeAndre Hunter's gone, and then they just lost another guy who's uh, transferring. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. wow, they do have space. Yeah. Well, I want to say hi to Wendy Reach. He's like, hey, good afternoon, guys. Uh, nice to see that you're on board watching us again. We really appreciate so, it. Um, those are my nibbly bits there, and uh, I'll, I'll give you some more. Special time for Roundtable tonight, by the way? Yeah, yeah, you're right, Brad. I completely forgot about that. It is a special time for Roundtable tonight. It's 7.15 p.m. because Rosie's coaching. Is that what uh, you're doing? Well, I can't coach because it's practice is going on during the show, but I have to playing the part of the single parent this week. So one uh, first off, I want to give a shout out to every single parent in the world because, wow, that is a massive job. Um, so, yeah, I have to get him to practice. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you coming in. And the show's going to start at 7.15. I let Oshkosh North know the folks there so they know uh, they got to be here by 7 for the 7.15 p.m. show. Apparently, the whole team's coming, Brett. They're going to be well-fed, apparently, too. Yeah, did you uh, yeah, respond? Yeah, I responded to uh, should bring extras. Sydney's mom. I should tell her to bring a little something. Bring some, some more food. Yeah, yeah what about some desserts? Nothing wrong with that. We love it. Uh, but, yeah, that's uh, tonight. That's our varsity roundtable. So I'm going to have a feature on them as well. Hey, let's get right to our fantasy draft because uh, we're kind of crunched for time here. 
But, I, you know, with the draft coming up, BC, I wanted to do all-time favorite NFL draft busts. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know if favorite's the right word. It's just ones that are, I guess, most memorable that we remember. I'm sure we have some people on. I know I have quite a few on my mind because some, some of it involves my own team. The Bears. The Bears. They've had some really boneheaded decisions. Uh, so, yeah, I wanted to get maybe your thoughts. I don't know. Rosie, you're, you're, you're cool with this, right? You know oh, some totally. Yeah. All right, great. You betcha. So, and, and Brett, too. So, Brett, did you want to go first? Did yeah, you wanna, I haven't okay. gone first in a while. Yeah. Okay, on. so we'll do Brett. I'm usually the champion anyway. Uh, you know what? Um, yeah, who won the last one? Well, I don't know. I had it up there. We never find out. Well, I guess we never find out. Trent was supposed to get back to us. I thought we wanted Trent to figure it out. (laughs) But anyway. Trent has disowned us. uh, You know what? I chose (laughs) last last time. I'll go second because I chose last last time. Okay. And then Rosie goes third. Okay. Excellent. So, Brett, you have your most memorable draft bust. Who would that be? NFL draft bust. Well, does it not have to involve the Green Bay Packers and one Tony Mandarich? Wow. That's who you're picking. The incredible what was it? The Incredible Bulk? The and then Incredible the, the, Bulk. And then The yeah. Incredible Bust it came, the, yes. the SI headlines. Okay, that's good. That's, uh, that's hard to beat Excellent. that one, actually. Think Excellent about it. Excellent first choice. That's good. And I'm taking mine because of just uh, the whole story behind it and because uh, I'm just going to say Jamarcus Russell. Uh, yep. Just yeah. because the number yep. one overall pick, what a bonehead. He came in what, like 20, 30 pounds overweight, mm-hmm. could throw the ball a country mile, but had, what, a, a million-dollar arm and a 10-cent head. Jamarcus Russell is mine. Go ahead, a Rosie. Microcosm of the Raiders. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I wanted to say it just like you said it right there. Yeah. The one thing, yeah, I could go on with a story about him, but whatever. Um, well, let's see. You guys took both of mine. Mandrich and Russell. I'm going to go with uh, Steve Entman. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, that injury's kind of derailed him, though. Yeah, but, well. Hey, that's part of it. Hey, you chose already. Yeah. He, no, uh, no, no. You're right. It absolutely can be because of world. Injuries. World of talent. That yes. guy could have been really special, but they got to change that right. curve at Indy. You got your second pick. And they did, actually, because they moved in the new place, the Lucas Oil. I'm going to go with a, another person who had a world of talent and just squandered it from my brownies, Johnny Manziel. Oh, that's a good one. Yep. Great one, Rosie. Johnny Touchdown. Johnny Football. Johnny Football. That is, that is Rosie. Is that your favorite team or your second favorite team? Second favorite team. Yeah, I like that. Cleveland. I hope they, they do well. Go ahead, Brett. You. Oh, no, it's on my you. turn. Okay, no problem. I'm going to go with another quarterback, Mr. Ryan yep, Leaf. That's a good one. Yeah. Boy, remember, really when, good. remember back when Peyton Manning and Ryan Leaf were drafted? People were like, they couldn't tell which one was better. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> that was a good one. That was one, that was one I was uh, on my list. All right, Brett, you have two. Yep. Well, let's go with the Boz, Brian Boz. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's another one. Remember Bo Jackson when he ran him over? Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. And then let's go with the, the Brownies again. Let's go with Tim Couch. Wow. They have a litany of, uh, of busts. Yeah. Tim Couch was a pretty high draft pick, was he not? Okay. I'm going to go to my Bears on this one. His name, Curtis Enos. Oh, yeah. Terrible. <laughs> yeah. Terrible. Actually, I could do a couple of running backs from the Bears uh, for that as well. But I, I was, actually, I was thinking of between him or, or Rashawn Salam, but – Salam actually had 1,000 yards uh, one year for the Bears, so he had one good year. But Curtis Enos was terrible, just terrible, and he was a top-six pick, I want to say. By the way, Tim Couch was the number one overall pick in the 1999 yeah. Oh, draft. my goodness. Yes, he Yowch. was. Wow. Again, our, I think our problems, though, didn't he have an elbow issue or whatever? Uh, didn't he have a cup of tea with the I, Packers? Didn't the yeah. Packers? yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he yep. never made it out of preseason. Did okay, he? all right. Yeah. So, Rosie, you have the third and fourth round here, so go ahead. Uh, let's see. One I'm going to go with. Lawrence Phillips, okay. running back. Yes. Another world of talent. Yep. World of talent. That's a good one, actually. Kind of waiting for him to explode, and he never did, like in terms of uh, on it's the field. It's tough. Rosie, I have one more, my friend. Um, and I'm going to go with... Now, this one is way back. This goes most, you know, our younger viewers will not even know who this is, but I'm going to go with he was out of... Ohio State. You know what? You know what? I'm going to change my mind because this was the number one pick from the Bengals, Akili Smith. Yes, Akili yes. Smith, another quarterback. That's Great a good one. Pick. Remember, he was setting all those records. I think he's from Houston. Was it, was Set. It was a Houston or yeah. was he Oregon? Oh, maybe it was Oregon. I think he was Oregon. Yeah, there was another guy from Houston that uh, also bottomed out uh, oh, another yeah. quarterback. But anyway, Akili Smith, yes. Uh, Boy, he had a great college, a great senior year, I think, and then never really Let me look that up. did Achilles anything uh, in the league. So. Uh, boy, this is now this is kind of getting Oregon. tough. Yep. I'm thinking of uh, 
So, uh, so by the way, let's do Rosie's four. Steve Etman, Manzel, Lawrence Phillips, and Akili Smith. Very good four. Mine's Jamarcus Russell, Ryan Leaf, and Curtis Enos. Uh, I guess my fourth round pick, you know, I'm going to go with, and this guy was a monster coming out of college, Andre Bruce. This back, mm. back in the yeah. mid-'80s. And uh, he, was, uh, he was just incredible. Like, I remember everyone thinking he was going to be the next Lawrence Taylor, and he never went in. He might have played three or four years tops. Just didn't have it, but he was a number one overall pick. But, yeah, so Andre Bruce, that's my fourth guy. Brett, your fourth. Got to go with the most important position, right, the quarterback. Mm-hmm. And I got to go with Joey Harrington. Oh, okay. oh yeah. I was just looking him up, the third overall pick in the 2 draft and what yeah. played. You know, what's funny about Joey Harrington is, is four, five, six, he eight. always did just enough. You're thinking, oh, okay, maybe this is the year he's going to turn the tide. Never. This is a year he's going he's gonna, to – it's all going to click for him, and it never did. I was, I was, if, if one of you guys had said Trubisky, I was going to start punching you. Joey Heisman? Yeah, Joey Heisman. Uh, uh, so those I, are – well, you had something else, right? I almost said Cade McNown, but I Cade McNown. Sh- I was considering him as well, but, but I already had one bear. The on one there. that I was going to pick, but then I went with Akili Smith, was uh, Arch Schleister. Oh, oh yeah, Ohio State. That's a good one because he was just That's crazy back in the good. Day. Yeah. 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 Al Van Handel says he'd go with Eddie George. Uh, Eddie George. Eddie George. Had a really George. nice career. Yeah, I think Eddie George so had a Hall of Fame career, <laughs> actually. Yeah. You may want to look up that one now. Yeah. I think he had over 10,000 yards rushing, if I'm not mistaken. So, actually, Eddie George had a pretty good year. Uh, pretty good career, I should say. Those are, here, so, let's run by these one more time. Brett is Tony Bandrich, Brian Bosworth, Tim Couch, Joey Harrington. It's not to, Brett, your first two just about be the, might be the, some, two of the most famous guys ever mm-hmm. as boss. Mine was Jamarcus Russell, Ryan Leaf, Curtis Enos, and Andre Bruce. And Rosie's was Steve Etman, Johnny Manziel, Lawrence Phillips, and Achilles Smith. So those are our all-time draft busts. So uh, if you have any uh, comments on that or want to give us your feedback, I'll post these again on Twitter. You can find it at, at PC Ricardo or at, Brett, or at PC Brett or at Middle Rosie. Uh, those are our picks for top draft busts. With the draft coming out, how many pick, picks, picks do the I Packers think they have? have two picks. Uh, do they two, have two, two in the tomorrow, first? Two okay. Number twelve and number thirty. Bears, so Bears we'll don't see. pick to number eighty-seven. Yeah, that's too bad for the Bears oh, because uh, that that's going to hurt Chicago. No, yes, their first Chicago. round, their first round pick was Khalil Mack. They that was last year. Yeah, I know they yeah. get two first round picks. Worth it. Worth it. All right. Anyway, thank <laughs> you so much for listening. Now, remember, next week we're going to have the second part of our high school sports awards preview show where we're going to look at the spring nominees and also the premier nominees and all that kind of stuff. And Brett will maybe have a little bit more on what to expect as we're hunting down the finish line. Mm, the finish line can't get here soon Until enough. then, hey, listen, sign up and uh, become a subscriber to the R&B show, okay? Find it on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play. And if you want to, leave us feedback. There's also an area where you can leave us feedback. You can be mean if you want to. We like it all, constructive oh. criticism or even negative There's criticism. too much meanness in this world. Nah, it's okay. We're, bi- we're big boys. We can take it. Live love. So, everyone, have a great week. We'll see you back here for another episode of the R&B show. That was Point. Center.